Well, it's a real honour to meet with the Alzheimer's Society and many of their members to discuss the issues and the barriers that people face later in life or when they um, have a diagnosis of Alzheimer's. And first of all, in York we've got a low level of diagnosis and obviously if people are concerned they should go and see their GP and, and receive a diagnosis. But also then the levels of support people get are of deep concern. So many people fall through the net, they don't get the support and help until they reach a crisis point in either being a carer or in managing Alzheimer's and, and therefore what I really would encourage is people go along to the Alzheimer's Society and get the support. Three GP um, are now offering those services for people across the city and of course that means that people can then talk through the challenges they face but get additional support and the support groups are fantastic. The test me from people with dementia when they were talking about the, the new skills they've developed, new friends they, they've had, how carers themselves have come together to talk through the very issues that they're facing and also how they can support one another. So I really do recommend that people do get in touch with the Alzheimer's Society and seek out support at their time of need. I talked to a couple of couples who um, were explaining to me how they have had such support themselves from just talking to people that have been through their own experience who have had some challenges but also to pick up some tips from one another, some coping strategies but also how to enjoy life as well and I think that's really important. Often when you become a carer you're working incredibly hard with your partner who clearly needs additional support but it's really important that you create space and time where you can enjoy one another's company and that's certainly what I got from the, the people I met at the Alzheimer's Society meeting.